Okay. Hi guys, it's Mr. Zebra and I am coming to you guys today and I'm going to do a peer card activity. And the peer card activity that I chose today is peer card number 43 in your packets. And it is Math Muffin Cups. That's the title of the peer card. And um, PEER stands for, it's an acronym for pause, engage, encourage, and reflect. So we're gonna make sure that we have our materials and we're gonna get the student, or the child in your case, and you're gonna get them and you're gonna bring them close to you. And I know with this whole COVID-19, and you know the kids being with us all day we're thinking you know what do you mean pause but really um at this time it only takes about maybe 15 minutes so getting the child when you maybe get your lunch break or just you know some downtime and just you know get your child and bring them close and you can come together and do this activity so first we're going to pause and for this activity you're going to slowly count backwards from five. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna breathe. So I have five, four, three, two, one. Okay. And when you're all done, you're asking this, this, your child, are, you, are we done? And now we're going to get ready to begin. So for this, um, for this activity, they are sorting objects by number, one to five. Um, and I have five muffin cups, one, two, three, four, five. And what I did was in this activity, they were asking for buttons. Um, Unfortunately, I couldn't go out to go buy buttons. So I just looked around in my cabinets in my house as well. You can do the same thing. And you're gonna look and you're gonna get different items. So I have um, macaroni noodles and I have a muffin cup of beans, a muffin cup of toothpicks, get in here. I have toothpicks and I have a muffin cup of red marbles and a muffin cup of clear marbles. Okay. So those are my five different items that we'll be counting. You're going to engage with your child and it says, say I have five cups and many buttons or many objects, different materials here. And let's start by writing numbers, one to five on each cup. So we have the muffin cups and then I had to get another cup so we could match. So what we're doing is we're matching and sorting um, from one to five in this activity. So what I went and got was my, what well, were my coffee filters in the cabinet. So I have five coffee filters right here what you're going to do in front of your child so they can see you writing and hear you also saying the numbers. You're going to get the coffee filters and we're going to write the numbers in there. So I'm going to say one. I'm writing the number one, the number two. And you can ask what number comes next, what comes after two, one, two, and then we can say three and we're going to write the number three. I wonder what comes after three. So we have the number four and what comes after four? Five. You're so smart. Kiss your brain because you're so smart. You're counting with me. You're helping mommy and we're getting this activity done. So we have our five coffee filters and what you're going to then do as you're going to ask how many items do we put in each cup according to the number. So now we're doing number correspondence. So you want to say to your child, 
I wonder how many uh, toothpicks I'm supposed to put in the one coffee cup. How many am I supposed to put in there? You look at them and they say one. So we put one toothpick inside that coffee filter, okay? Then we have the number two. You're asking them what comes next? Or I wonder how many go into that coffee filter. I wonder how many marbles, how many red marbles would I put in that coffee filter? So you, they count them, one, two. You're doing such an awesome job. You're praising your child. You're so smart. I love the way you're counting. So we're counting. We have one, and I know we have two. I wonder what comes next. What item should we put in the number? And you're gonna ask them, what number is this? And making three. Great, you're right. So let's put mm, three beans in the coffee filter. Or you can ask them what item would you which which item should we put next in that coffee filter? I'm gonna choose beans and I'm gonna count the beans. One, two, three beans. And then you just keep going and you're counting all the items into the coffee filters, and the children are adding them up. Um, they can also do some subtraction. You can sort them. You can have them use different items. They can do like a simple addition. I wonder if we put two red marbles, if we have two red marbles in the number four, and then we put two clear marbles in there. I wonder how many marbles do we have all together? Let's count them and you can take them out. One, two, three, four. And, and I also made a pattern. Um, if you can see it, I have a pattern there. I have red, clear, red, and clear. So you can have a pattern. You can talk about that. Um, there are all different kind of ways that you can do this activity. And once you get done, the reflection part is you're going to ask the, the questions, um, you know, to get your child, you know, just get their input on it. And you're going to ask them, what did you like most about this activity? Um, what other things could we use next time for when we do this activity? Just to get their minds going. And so you also get an idea of what you would like to do next. Um, they also have an extend. So the extend activity, I liked it. If you have empty egg cartons, you can use empty egg cartons. And you can do the same thing, but with the egg cartons. You might have to use smaller items because, you know, the egg carton um, area is not that big. But that's a simple math peer card activity. And it's great. The kids, I know in school, they loved it to match and to sort and to put them all together. You're doing some subtraction, addition. You're doing the um, counting all together and you can just take it up according to how your child is doing and it's a great way for you guys to just spend some family time together and count and hopefully they will continue to count and show you different ways that you can do counting activities in the house all right have a great day guys i love you and i miss you